Coach Roberts, I can, you know what? I can barely see you, man. I, I like that hat, though. I can barely see you. You're all camoed out. If it weren't for the orange, I wouldn't be able to see it. But uh, I always talk wrestling in the West. You're from the West. Sure. And uh, you're from Washington State. You wrestled at Oregon for the Ducks. Um, but, you know, and that, that's something we, I, you know, that school should have wrestling. But that's, I think that's a whole other can of worms. Yeah. But yeah, don't get me started on that. I, I don't think I should get you or JLP no. son and started on that no. one. We don't root for him. You know, have you vac have you guys like basically vacated being fans and alum almost? Oh, I have. I you know I've got I've got teammates that are still season ticket holders and football and all that, and I I won't root for them in anything. Uh, no, they're they're non-existent to me. I was uh, I was prepared to root for them in the against them in the national championship game, but uh, I don't think they made it. They got they, toasted by uh, wait. Did they play Ohio State? No, they played Ohio State in the final, didn't they? Uh, no, Ohio State played Alabama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. They got toasted anyway. Yeah, yeah. So I think Ohio State toasted them anyway. Yeah. I always root for uh, schools with wrestling with teams. Wrestling. That's what I do. Every, every football game. So it's great game, to see the Buckeyes every, win this year. Every football game I watch, every basketball game I watch, uh, baseball, same thing. If you got wrestling, I'm going to be a fan. Me too. And if you look, the uh, NCAA basketball this year, two wrestling teams. Two uh, wrestling schools. Uh, Duke? Yeah. I don't know the other one. It was Duke and uh, I even forget the other one, but they had wrestling. Good. It was, it, it, it's always good to see. Oh, Michigan State. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right? It was two, two Big Ten or two wrestling schools. Yeah. Schools with wrestling. So, but looking at, you know, wrestling in the West. He's a high school kid at a disadvantage out here. These guys were telling me, the, two, the Moffat brothers, your brother-in-laws, their state tournament's nine hours away. Sure. Oh, yeah. The state tournament from Coeur d'Alene... It's in Pocatello, yeah. Idaho. It's nine hours away. Yeah. Get they have the to go into Idaho. Go into Montana. I'm sorry. That's what I meant. They had to go into Montana from Idaho. Is yeah. What I meant to and say. Then, and then drive back down. That's insane. No. Then you're like, oh, hey, if Zab had to go somewhere nine hours, I'd be in like uh, Georgia. Yeah. I'd be in South Carolina. <laughs> yeah. From the Northeast. And you and I talk yeah. about this all the time. It's like everything's so concentrated in the East. Yeah. What's it like for a high school kid out here to get seen? And then go find good competition or a good club. Well, you know, I think I think I think to uh, get to the national tournaments, I think is what you got to do. And and you know, it, it, it's not always an option for everybody, maybe financially or whatever. But you know, if you can, you got to get to those national tournaments, or you got to get to uh, camps that schools maybe schools are offering camps, uh, maybe a short list of schools that you'd be interested in going. Try to get by uh, in front of their coaches. You know, try to show them what kind of worker you are. Uh, but, but the national tournaments, I mean, state champs these days, you know, I mean, in, in out here there's uh, maybe five divisions in one state, in Washington and Oregon. And, you know, so that's the one thing to understand as a kid is that you got to show a little bit of separation between yourself and, you know, not only the kids in your state, but there's, there's 50 states. So there's a lot of state champions out there. And... Uh, you know, you got to look a little bit beyond that um, if if you really want to get noticed. I mean, the guys that are that are that are winning at the at, at the at Fargo or you know winning winning Flow or the NHSCAs or the the Super 32 and stuff. Those guys are going to get noticed and stuff. But that second tier of kids, you know, they got to get back and they got to win matches there, place or at least go deep in those tournaments and you know and 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 just kind of. Get their name out there. I look at the Reno TOC. I did that this year, and uh, I don't see a whole lot of Eastern teams. That, as far as high school, I think East and PA is there, and there might have been another PA yeah. team. Um, Ohio U comes at the college division. It's a great tournament because it's – it's. I mean, if you're a college coach or even a high school kid, you can stick around an extra day and watch the college tournament. Yeah. And if you're a, you know, a college coach, you can show up a day early and watch some of the best high school kids in the country. But – do you think Eastern schools are weary of coming out West and wrestling? You guys, whether it be Oregon State and Corvallis, whether it be the Reno TOC, the Roadrunner Open, whatever it may be, do you see a lot of schools reluctant to come out? Well, you know, I think I think it's twofold. I think you know, one 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 obstacle is that when you come out and you spend the money uh, to go travel somewhere, like we travel to the Midwest and the East all the time, you don't want to go for one match. And you know you want to get a couple dates, and that's that's one challenge, is 
if you come out to, to Oregon State, uh, who else are you going to wrestle, you know, and so you kind of kind of coordinate. Maybe you're going to wrestle Stanford, maybe you're going to wrestle Cal Poly, Boise State, um, you know, but you can't drive three hours and hit another team or whatever. Um, but yeah, there's teams that we've went in, we've went to their place, we've beat them back east, and now for a couple of years they won't return the day. Uh, I think they should, they have the money to, but they, they, they won't. I, I don't know why, but you know, um, so you deal with that a little bit, but you know, you go where you have to go. And uh, that's the most expensive thing in, in, in our budget. Why our budget is what it is, is because we have to travel. We can't get on a bus and go two hours, three hours. We, you know, everywhere we go, we fly. Closest duel for you drive-wise, I believe, Division One is Boise six hours along. No, no, eight. It's a eight along Route 84 along Columbia River Gorge, right? Yeah. So yeah. you guys got to do that. And that. That's not, and there's not even another. I don't even think you guys can do another. I don't even know if you could pick another team up along there. If you yeah. wanted to do two duels in a day, I don't even know if it's possible driving. Yeah. Um, you know, I've talked to Tyrell Todd about this. Is a Western kid at a disadvantage? Is a Western high school kid and a Western college kid at a disadvantage? The media doesn't give you guys nearly enough attention. Your guys are obviously just as tough. As a, is a Western kid, you know, nine hours for a state tournament, are you guys at a disadvantage? You're a two-time All-American for Oregon. There were a lot more programs out here in the 90s, 80s, 90s, obviously. But is a, is a Western kid at a disadvantage? You know, I don't know. I mean, uh, I... I don't, I don't look at it as that, and I would never let our guys, you know, know that, that, hey, we're, we're travel two, th three time zones and then got to wrestle the next day. I mean, I think you just got to look at it as, as uh, you know, building and, and, and getting yourself ready for the end of the season, you know. Sometimes uh, you're just going to be battle tested. And, and you know, uh, we want to wrestle all the best teams, and we're going to get to wrestle some pretty good ones this year, uh, some that we wanted to. We weren't able to get on the schedule for one reason or another, but we'll go there. We'll have them in our place. Uh, you know, we've got a pretty good schedule coming up, but you know, we've also had some teams we wanted to get on there that we weren't able to, and uh, maybe hopefully in coming years we'll, we'll be able to get them on on the schedule. Looking at rankings and rankers and media, and I don't care if it's disrespect, blatant disrespect, or being just totally overlooked. How does that feel? What's that like as a coach? Looking at a kid who's a Washington, who you're like, Washington, who you, who you know is like, man, that's a high school kid. He's just as good as the kid from Blair Academy, Easton, PA, uh, you know, uh, Cleveland, Ohio. You know, Eastern kids get a lot more exposure. What's that like dealing with that, just like blatantly being overlooked a lot of the times? Um, you know, I, I don't know. When I when I was when I was coming up through, there was, there wasn't an inter internet or anything, and. So I, I didn't know what, what I was ranked or, you know, any of the guys. Um, the kids these days do a lot more, but, you know, um, I, I always thought if, if, if rankings really meant anything, they'd be called results. And, uh, you know, I think that's just got to be your, your motto is, you know, I mean, yeah, yeah, they do. They, they do. You go to the first tournament of the year down in Vegas and uh, they go through and they, and they do the seeding. Uh, based on the, like I say, inter, inter, intermats uh, rankings or something, and you know, are they always right? Heck, I don't know. I mean, sometimes they seem kind of silly, and and you know, we've talked about it. I'm like, well, who who is this guy doing the rankings? I mean, this guy might be like somebody living in his mom's basement or something. You know, like it, does this guy really know who all the people are? But that's kind of what they do, and you got to wrestle all the guys anyway to to beat them. You know, you might. Uh, Ronnie Bresser this year, you know, we thought he was a pretty good freshman. Pretty good freshman, won a lot of stuff coming up through, but, you know, he was a true freshman. He hadn't done anything yet, and him and uh, Dylan Peters wrestled first match. I mean, you know, that, that's just the way it goes. Was it Vegas they wrestled first match? They did, yeah. And it was a great match, though. Yeah, overtime match. Yeah, and Peters ends up beating him. Yeah. And then Peters pinned Thomas Hall that tournament, too, he didn't he? He did, yeah. So, you know, I mean, you look at that, he's right there with those guys. Oh, yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I, have, I have to wrestle him, you know. I, I get to wrestle him. And, uh, I, yeah, I know he's pretty good. What would you say to someone, you know, like I see a lot of these, there's a lot of people that move who leave the West. I would never do that. I would go opposite. I would come to the West before I would leave it. But people who leave, like, one of the most beautiful places on the planet for wrestling, do you think I, that decision to, to, to me, go to college? No, 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 no. Like when whole families up and leave for wrestling-based decisions, I don't understand it. I can't wrap my brain around it. 
Um, do you think that, that that those people feel like that they're at a, their kids are at a disadvantage? I don't understand that decision. I, you know, I don't know. I mean, that's not something I, that, I, that I would do. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I know a lot of successful people in, in wrestling and a lot of things that, that come from out this way. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's just a personal decision for them. Personal preference? Yeah. I mean, I think it's a little bit kooky myself, but... Uh, you know, you look at some of the guys wrestling and where they're from, and there's guys from California, Washington, Oregon, Idaho in the last several years, Utah, that have been pretty successful wrestlers. I think uh, I think we had a guy from the state of Utah that was one of the best wrestlers we've ever seen in, in college wrestling. So I don't think his parents thought that they needed to move him you know, to Ohio or Pennsylvania. It, it worked out okay for that guy. All right, Coach. I love hearing your insight on it. Is there anything else you can think of like that I don't talk and I'm not thinking of? Am I just do I pigeonhole too much in in oh, one way when I talk about it? There's a lot that I think about, but <laughs> we don't need to talk about it. <laughs> All right, hey, thanks for the time. I'm gonna go check Mike's uh, Mike Bangram's uh, technique out here, and I appreciate it. Thanks, buddy.